Good day my scholars, welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra and in this video we'll be going through the JAM CBT Pass question for the subject government year 2012. Please stay with us, do not go anywhere and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel. So right now we'll begin with question 1 and we'll be looking at question 1 to 20. So now let's start with question 1. The distinctive attribute of a state is the monopoly of... The answer to this question is option B, power. Now the main attribute of a state includes population, territory, government and sovereignty. Now, what makes a state a state is the fact that it has a system of government which is an organized system of government and sovereignty. What is sovereignty? Sovereignty is the supreme power of the state to make decisions, to enforce law. So the answer to this question remains power, option B. Question 2. State as a political entity refers to, option A, an organized group within a definite territory, option B, an association of men in a given society, option C, a branch of a nation, option D, a geographical location. The best answer to this question is option A, an organized group. Now, what makes a state a, a political entity is the fact that it is an organized entity. So it's an organized group of people within a particular territory. So the answer to this question remains option A. Question three, political values are acquired in any given society through option A, political reorientation, Option B, political campaign. Option C, political socialization. Option D, political indoctrination. The answer to this question is political socialization. Now, what is political socialization? Political socialization is a process of acquiring political attitude, values, norms, and this shapes a citizen's political behavior. So the answer to this question remains option C, political socialization. Question four. In a democratic government, political sovereignty is vested in the dash. Option A, legislature. Option B, elite. Option C, executive. Option D, electorate. The answer to this question is electorate. Who are the electorate? Electorates are all the people in a country who are entitled or eligible to vote. Now, whenever we think of democracy or a democratic government, we think of the people. And what this means is that the people have the power to exercise their political uh, rights, which can be done directly, that is by themselves, or through their representative who they elect. Okay, so the answer to this question remains option D, the electorate. Question 5. One judicial function performed by the executive is dash. The answer to this question is granting of amnesty. Now, we know that the judicial function is quite different from the executive function. But in this question, it implies that there's a particular judicial function that is performed by the executive, and the answer is granting amnesty. Now, what is amnesty? Amnesty is granted to a group of people who have committed crimes against a state or the state. Examples of these crimes include treason, rebellion, or deserting from the military, okay, and so on and so forth. So granting of amnesty is one judicial function that the executive performs. Now let's take a look at option B, implementing judicial orders. Okay, so this is a function of the judiciary and it is performed by the judiciary, ensuring obedience to the law. This is a function of the executive and it is performed by the executive, appointing judges. So the governor of each state appoints judges, but it's on the recommendation of the National Judiciary Council. So the answer to this question remains option A, granting amnesty. Question six, a political system which empowers the leader with the ultimate responsibility to execute laws is dash. The answer to this question is presidentialism. Now the answer is presidentialism because in a presidential system of government, it recognizes dual power, that is the head of state and the head of government. Now the head of government simply means that the president is the chief executive. It also means that it is the head of the executive arm of government. And amongst his several functions or roles that he has to perform includes signing into law. So the answer to this question remains option B, presidentialism. Question 7. A bill is a draft which is awaiting the consideration of the dash. The answer to this question is option A, executive. So a bill is referred to as a proposed legislation. 
and it remains a bill until it is approved by the executive. So the answer to this question remains option A, executive. Please be reminded that you can take practice questions with our simulated JAM CBT past questions. All you need to do is you click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website. There you'll be required to download My School mobile app for your Android phones and My School software for your computers and laptops. Please go ahead and download and start practicing. Now moving on to question 8. The private ownership of the means of production is a future of Dash. The answer to this question is option A, capitalism. So capitalism recognizes the private ownership of the means of production and its distribution. Also, uh, option B, socialism recognizes the state. So the state owns the means of production. When we think of communalism, communalism here, yeah, there is a collective um, ownership of landed properties and natural resources. So it's a collective ownership in which landed properties and natural resources are managed or annexed by the people in the community. When we think of communism, communism simply means a common possession or common ownership of the means of production and there is also an equal distribution of the production. So the answer to this question remains option A, capitalism. I believe you enjoyed this content. If so, please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 9. In a feudal system, the two major classes are the serfs and the dash. The answer to this question is option C, lords. Serfs are the peasants, the commoners, while lords are the nobles, or generally those that are in control. So option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 10. An example of a country with a flexible constitution is dash. The answer to this question is Britain. So Great Britain and Italy but have um, a flexible constitution. So the answer to this question remains option B, breathing. Question 11. The rule of law is negation of dash. A, equality before the law. Option B, supremacy of the law. Option C, limited power. Option D, absolute power. Okay, so the answer to this question is absolute power. So rule of law is the supremacy of law over everyone. So equality before the law is a confirmation of rule of law. The supremacy of the law is also a confirmation or an affirmation of a rule of law. Limited powers also is a confirmation of the rule of law. But what contradicts rule of, rule of law in this option is absolute power. So absolute power negates or contradicts um, the principles of rule of law. So option D is the correct answer to this question. Question 12. To ensure the rights and freedom of citizens, the powers of the arms of government must be dashed. The answer to this question is separated. Option C is the correct answer to this question. Now let's talk about the separation of power. Separation of power is um, the separation or the division of the functions or the power of government amongst the three arms of government, that is the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary. Now what this prevents is that it prevents the accumulation of power in one place. Okay, so and when uh, so much of power is not accumulated in a particular place, it ensures that people's rights and people's, people's fundamental human rights are observed. Okay, so the answer to this question is option C, separated. Question 13. Delegated legislation is made by bodies other than the dash. The answer to this question is option C, parliament. First, what is delegated legislation? Delegated legislation is the act of transferring power of functions to through the Act of Parliament to other organizations. So other organizations such as ministries, public corporations, local governments. So these are bodies that can perform legislative functions. So other than the parliament, other than um, the parliament who have been given special powers to perform legislative functions, we have other bodies, just as I've mentioned, public corporations and so on and so forth, that can perform these legislative functions. So the answer to this question is option C, Parliament. Question 14. The primary aim of pressure groups is to dash. The answer to this question is protect the interest of members. So one of the goals of the pressure group is to influence the people that have power to make decisions. And by so doing, they protect the interest of their members. They are all about the interest of their members. So the answer to this question is option B, protect the interest of 
uh, members. Question 15. The French colonial system was underlined by the policy of Dash. The answer to this question is option A, assimilation, the French policy of assimilation, while the British adopted the indirect rule policy. So the answer to this question remains option A, assimilation. Question 16. Which of the following is used in gauging public opinion? The answer to this question is mass media. Now, mass media is any form of communication, whether written, spoken, or broadcast, that reaches a large audience. So, mass media is used to measure, or is an instrument used to measure public opinion. So, the answer to this question remains option C, mass media. Question 17. Colonization of Africa was mainly motivated by Dash. The answer to this question is economic reasons. Now, um, the Europeans saw potential wealth in African um, natural resources and that attracted them. Okay, so they were interested in African silk, spices, ivory, gold, and so on and so forth. So the answer to this question is economic reasons. Option B is the correct answer to this question. Do you have questions you would like to ask? Please feel free to ask your questions by using the link provided in the description below. Click on this link, it takes you to the My School website. There you can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now moving on to question 18. The commission charged with the conduct of federal elections in Nigeria is Dash. The answer to this question is INEC. The Independent National Electoral Commission, as contained in the 1999 Constitution, is charged with the conduct of federal elections in Nigeria. So option C is the correct answer to this question. Do you have better steps, solutions, or explanations to any of this question? Please feel free to use the comment section below, indicate the question and the solutions you would like to share. Question 19. In the Abusa pre-colonial political system, a district was added by Dash. The answer to this question is option A, a Hakimi. Now, a Hakimi is the district head is in charge of collection of taxes, maintaining law and order. Generally, is the district head. So, option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 20. Which of the following ensured the practice of democracy in the pre-colonial Yoruba political system? The answer to this question is checks and balances. Okay, one of the features of the pre-colonial Yoruba political system is the presence of check and balances. That system was evident in the pre-colonial political system of the Yorubas, and it ensured the practice of um, democracy, and there was a separation of power, especially between the Oba, that's the king, and the Oyo Mercy. Okay, so this will also ensure that too much of power is not concentrated in one branch. Okay, so one branch does not have too much power. So the answer to this question remains option A, checks and balances. We've come to the end of the segment. I believe it was impactful. Please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.